don't forget to check out my Patreon where you can get exclusive access to all my picks and all my trades before they hit the market and before they hit YouTube. So testing one two one two one two. So welcome back to the Finance Value Guy. And in today's video, I think I have a very important video. Now I know a lot of my videos always are kind of important, but this one is truly important because I believe that this might be the video before the big breakout. And um, I know that seems like it's not true, but just trust me, guys. You guys are gonna want to see this video because this could be a breakout video. So what am I talking about? Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys, okay, um, some crazy stuff. Now the title is probably called 3.6 million. Um, but as you guys can see, this is um the title. So um the title of the video says Shiba Inu could drop meme coin tag as Ethereum will scoop up 3.6 million worth of the token. So I was looking at um some tweets and stuff like that, and I did notice, okay, that 3.6 million dollars of Shib was bought, okay, by whales. Now you have to understand that you know when whales do buy coins, it isn't always, you know simple cut so i would say you know take articles like this with a grain of salt because a lot of the times sometimes they do get the information wrong like they might see a transaction and think it's a buy when it's just transferring from one wallet to another wallet which is why i don't just look at articles in isolation i look okay at an article and then i'll look back at the chart and i'll be like okay it doesn't make sense for them to be buying at this area and in this scenario i gotta be honest it actually does so why so let's look at the price of Shiba Inu, okay? Um, and not so much at the price of Bitcoin because um, right now Shiba is doing very, very interesting stuff. So as you guys can see right here, Shiba is literally at the apex of this um, of this movement, as you guys can see. So it looks like at this apex, you know, on January the 6th, okay? It looks like the RSI is going to have to move in one major way. As you guys can see, we've had multiple touch points, okay? On the RSI, you know, here, here, here 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 and here okay and now we're coming up to that apex area now the apex area is basically the final zone where we're either gonna you know be going to the upside or we're gonna be going to the downside and i want to show you some key stuff okay and what i'm exactly doing in these markets right now so as you guys can see right now shiba inu is of course just ranging but i wanted to show you guys something as well okay if you look okay not on the daily but if you look at the four hourly on this chart okay it looks like shiba inu could be about to do something pretty cool now I don't know if this is going to happen, but at the end of the day, I always have my wits about me to make sure that if this does happen, we are completely prepared. Remember, guys, when I'm looking at the charts, I'm trying to say, okay, if this happens, I'm prepared. And if this happens, I'm prepared. So once again, I do believe that it is possible that Shiba Inu could do a kind of double bottom thing right here. And all we would need to do is just have a scenario where we do that. Okay, let's just get that off. Um, have a scenario where we do that, okay, and break this line right here and then come up and and just do like a quick pump okay now if that didn't make any sense to do apologize but the point i'm trying to make is that we could have a double bottom scenario a double bottom scenario is where you have um a pattern like this where price action comes down comes up hits a resistant line comes up and then breaks past this level right here so um that's what we could have right here we've got the first come down come up come down all the way and then we if as long as we break up that would mark a nice pump now the reason i'm talking about this double bottom is because you can see that it lines up right with this apex right here so you guys can see that this apex of this of this rsi is literally right here so i wouldn't be surprised if we did have the apex broke out of this rsi and then we pumped up okay i would not be surprised okay so um yeah it's it's, it's very very interesting as well since we're actually having you know lower levels but the rsi is also increasing which means okay that when we do break out i do believe that there's going to be a pump and also if you guys can see we're in a descending channel okay but the rsi as you guys can see right here so look from here to here you guys can see the rsi is going up but the price action is going down which means you know what this means guys it means that people are buying this dip so right now if you are buying shiba inu it's not a bad idea i gotta be honest with you guys i might even pick some up some shiba inu right now like honestly guys i'm seriously con considering i'm um, picking up some shiba inu right now because the rsi is telling us that this is bullish this is very very bullish on the rsi and this is clear bullish divergence, meaning that people are buying this, okay, even as price action. So as we're going down, it's strengthening. So in the next couple of days, if Shiba Inu breaks out of this, okay, and moves up, do not be surprised, guys. 100%. Don't be like, oh, what happened? Why is Shiba pumping? Well, the data is in the charts. And right now it's showing us, okay, that this is going down. Now, inversely, if we're to look at what's going on here, price action is heading higher. But this is heading lower, guys. And I remember I was talking about this. I was saying that, you know, price action is heading higher, but the RSI is going lower. This is bearish, meaning that the strength is weakening. So it looks like this is clearly um, probably going to be some of the last areas. It probably might be a very nice area to buy some Shiba Inu right now, just because of the way how the RSI thing is. Um, and I think that the apex is um, right nice here. Now, um, also, Bitcoin as well didn't break up from this RSI. We actually did lose support. But I actually wanted to look at the daily, guys, okay? And on the daily, okay, there's something very, very interesting, okay? You guys can also see that price action does come down here, as you guys can see. 
price action does come down here okay price action is heading down comes to the purple zone goes all the way up comes to the, down to the purple zone again but if we look what's going on here okay if price action is going down but over here the rsi was looking moving upwards okay so it looks like there's a little bit of bullish divergence just before that area right there okay so overall I would say that um, if I actually delete that, can we go on the three day one? Yeah, on the three day one, it looks like there is some kind of bullish divergence going on, meaning that I still do believe that people are still accumulating Bitcoin in this accumulation phase. So for me, that is what I'm thinking. Okay, guys, I'm thinking that right now, you know, people are still accumulating Bitcoin because you guys can see it's held this level pretty, pretty well. Now, like I said, um, on the daily chart, what are other people thinking on Twitter as well? And why is this important? Remember, Bitcoin dominance is at a pivotal point right now. Meaning that, you know, the price section of Bitcoin is, um, you know, very, very congruent with the other altcoins. Meaning that if Bitcoin moves up or down, um, other altcoins are going to move up or down as well. Now, this is what, what some other people on Twitter are saying, you know, some traders. It's always good to, to you know, look at other people, look at what they're saying. Because, guys, um, you know, I, I can't just, you know, look at this in myself and say I'm the smartest person in the world. You know, I have the 100% accuracy for trading or whatever. I always look at other people because um, they can always show different perspectives. So, I would say that um right now as you guys can see right here this is what a lot of people are looking at for bitcoin this sort of double bottom and basically on the daily like you guys can see um on the on the daily it's basically like this you know you come down hit this level come up here come down and then right all the way to there so that is going to be something that could happen a double bottom scenario where you have that you know you touch the levels twice which is why this right now could be a very decent time to be buying Bitcoin. I'm still, like I said, guys, on this purple zone. This is my personal accumulation zone for Bitcoin. So anytime we enter this purple box, I'm just dollar cost averaging, whether it be $200, $300. I'm just, you know, in my long term hodling portfolio, guys, it just makes sense. So um, I'm just going to keep doing that. OK, and even if we break to lower 40K, I'm still going to be buying at the levels because I believe in Bitcoin long term um, and it just makes sense. So um right now guys that is what we have okay and with shiba inu with people you know starting to buy it with the rsi creeping up here i think that you know a breakout could be inevitable and if you're wondering what price target i have the price target is at minimum you know even if we like break up from here it would be on this resistance sign uh let me just double check let me make sure this resistance sign extends back a bit um okay there's not much on that resistance sign so um you know you can't really see it but i would say on this resistance line, probably, um, I'm not, I'm, you know, what it is. I usually when I have, you know, my resistance lines, I usually have multiple, multiple touch points on this one. There are a few, but it doesn't give me too much confidence. It may, it may act as, yeah, it probably will act as resistance because it is, it is something that was used before. So yeah, so around that 36 to 37 area, since there's a lot of confluence with this zone as well, um, that is definitely going to be the clear resistance line. So if you do buy in now, I would recommend selling once we get to 36. I mean, we could break through it, but the last time, um, it, w it was definitely kind of hard too. So that is my honest theory, guys, for right now. And if we don't manage to break this level right here, Shiba Inu is just going to keep trending down and down and down until realistically we hit like this level again, guys. I do believe that 30 cents um, would be 100% buy-in. That would be a, a real buy-in, um, a very easy buy-in. So um, for me, that is what I would be doing, guys. And for now, okay, looking forward at key levels, like I said, Bitcoin needs to hold this purple zone. And we're going to really, really go lower here. Um, which is what a lot of people don't want. But at the end of the day, guys, as long as we don't lose this level, this major four, major forty thousand dollar level, that is a level where most people are going to exit the market, guys. Um, including top traders, just from what I've seen, every top trader that I know has said that if we lose this forty thousand dollar level, um, that is where they will leave the market and they'll sell their Bitcoin because further price action. That's what I agree with. Um, so even though you know I'm saying that you know I'm probably going to buy some at forty thousand, I mean I'm not going to buy a lot. I'm just going to buy some just in case we do go on the flip side. It's going to be a very very nice trade. I'm not going to buy tons because of course the risk. Of downside is definitely going to be pretty pretty big so i would say if we lose this level watch out for that but for now guys bitcoin of course as you know short term you know the price target of course um i do think that you know there's going to be some resistance here at this forty eight thousand dollar level there's a lot of support here so all we now know for bitcoin okay is that as long as we hold this level we should be good as long as we break through this level right here okay this resistance line right here we will pump straight to 53k that's what i'm thinking as well and um yeah so for now shiba inu guys still in the downtrended channel once we do break out this downtrending channel guys we will start that pump hopefully guys um especially if bitcoin can and guys if we do have a major move within the next 24 hours do not be surprised since the apex is right here guys on shiba inu um and there's some key indicators on bitcoin that are showing us that there could be a major move um either up or down so right now kind of watching the charts kind of seeing what's going on um, and yeah, Shiba Inu, the apex is here. 
of course the price target if we break out is going to be like 36 cents would be which would be let me just check which would be a nice 10 to 20 percent pump and of course for bitcoin um what we got to do is hold this level um and break through this one right here to get a nice um pump to 53k which would be nice for altcoins as well so with that being said guys let me know what you guys think if you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to like subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one